Hello, I'm Paul Spritzi. Hello. Hi, Kiggs. I'm Paul Spritzi. I'm the, uh, the programming director for the Mammoth Lakes Film Festival, and I'm here with Kiggs, the director of, of the short film you just saw called Wash. And uh, yeah, um, thank you so much for joining us from Sweden. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, what an impressive film. Um, I guess, thank you. I, I guess, um, uh, first of all, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the style of it. It's got such, for one thing, such distinctive lighting and cinematography. Can you tell me what, what your, your um, approach was to that? Well, first of all, thank you so much for having Wash. I, I truly appreciate it. It's a huge honor to be a part of the festival. And thank you for all the hard work in making this a digital experience. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, the, what we wanted to do was to create something that was as realistic as possible but still introduce something slightly supernatural because in a lot of, of, of horror films you can press play and you instantly know that it's a horror because there's extreme uh, saturation of blue or green or something like that so i wanted to find i remember when i was talking to to frederick Selegren, who is the cinematographer and to philip carcamo who is the light designer i want to have a dirty but realistic look. It's, it should look like it's infected. So we tried to basically, what you see in the final uh, version is somewhat similar to what we saw on set. But then of course, Frederick has used his uh, great skills to enhance the illness, so to speak. So we wanted to play with shadows. You don't have to see everything. Sometimes the most scariest things are the things you can't see. So we said, let's have a few lights, make sure to use the shadows to our advantage instead of being like, I should have had more lights. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, it, I love how it's almost, there's, there's, uh, it, it really pushes the envelope in, in terms of what it doesn't show. There's like so much, so much suggestion and, and uh, which you. I guess is, that's kind of like um, the key to great horror. Do, do you have any um, big influences in terms of, of, of filmmakers? Oh yes, I mean, um, Wash was very much inspired by the Texas Chainsaw Massacre from '74. Now there's not, you know, not that much similarity between them, but the psychology of it. Uh, um, one of the favorite scenes in uh, Texas is where Leatherface puts the girl on the hook. You never see the hook go into her back, but your mind connects the images, and you scare yourself. So. I wanted to be able to make Wash into a magic trick because you never really see anything violent in the film. I just give you images, light, sound, and music, and you basically scare yourself. So even though I have a lot of, I'm a huge fan of, you know, Christopher Nolan and all, and all of those directors, but I, I more like the, the way they made a film, like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I like the way they pulled that magic trick off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and can you tell us a little, the performance by your actress is, is fantastic too. How, how, did, how did you work with her? I think, well, they both did a very good job. Um, you know, uh, they read the script several times and it was just make sure to, to, to talk with them on set, but not say too much because you can, sometimes with actors, you can, you can overanalyze too much. So basically we just give them the lines and make sure that they, just see what happens in front of the camera. Uh, and of course, give them a background. So I always do that for the shorts. Um, I write mini biographies or stories of what happened right before we actually start filming. So they know a little bit, how did they get there? Now you as a viewer will never know that, but, but the actors will know that. So I think they did a great job. Uh, awesome, awesome. So, um, so tell us a little bit about what you're, what you're working on now. Well, right now I am working on the feature version of Wash. So I just finished the first draft of the script, but you know, it's, it's a first draft. Who knows how many drafts it will be, but it's a first draft. And just as with the short, you have that as a blueprint and then you can have discussion with the people involved and try to, I see it as a tree. You need to trim the, the, the branches a little bit to find the most focused version of the script so we'll see where it goes hopefully i can talk to you in a few years and talk about a feature version who knows great great yeah and and you i, I understand you already have a lot of interest in in the uh, in the feature script uh yeah it, it's been crazy i mean uh, wash haven't whilst we're showing this now as we're recording this interview 
watch haven't even been released yet, but it got picked up by a few companies over in in Los Angeles, and I I am signed now to an agency and to a management, and they've been working really hard with me to to find some way to turn this into a feature. So I, I am I am very privileged, and I feel very lucky and honored to be in that situation. Great, great. Well, I'm so excited to see uh, see what you come up with next, and thank you so much for for being part of the festival. Thank you so much for having us and for having Wash. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.